All right. Oh, I continue playing on uh, continue in most from last night, where I left off. I think I don't have much time left on the game. I probably only have like maybe another forty-five minutes on the game. I, I assume. Yeah. Look, I've only got like three things left here. <laughs> oh, that's right. We we're going to figure out what's... Got to find the key to figure out what's behind this door. I think they're keeping, like, some kids in there or something. Uh, telescope on top of the cabinet. I like watching stars. Yo, man, that bunny is creepy. He likes watching the neighbors. Creeptastic. Can I get up there? Images of teddy bears. Oh boy. Toy bears are toy rabbits. Natural beasts. Nice. Natural enemies like it. <laughs> I should start doing. Since I do painting, maybe I'll just start painting on the walls instead of buying canvas. Makes sense, right? Check what we got downstairs. Let's go find this key. Oh. oh. Green puppy fingers! Yeah, I think this guy is like some type of like kid cook or something. Oh man, I'm starting to become a rebel. of time, the minutes, the conversations. Damn. This rabbit's got some fucking word skills. Alright, nothing in there. to know what they're hiding in the attic. Anything in here? I'll find this key. Oh, I found a secret room. 
Where is this taking me? I'm a rebel. Rebel without a cause right now. In here. What do we got in here? Nothing. Still nothing. Framed awards all covered with dust. Everyone forgot about them long ago. Oh boy. <sighs> he's a there now. He doesn't care. Huh. Strange. Bedroom on this side. All right, let's sneak into that room. Oh. Bounce. Oh, the windows haven't been opened in a long time. Yeah, man, this guy, the, the, your family is messed up. Something's like going on here. Think this stuffed bunny is going to be your downfall? Maybe the bunny is used to trap you in the attic and the parents dissect you or something. Or sell you off. See what's in this creepy attic. Anything else in here? Can I like? No, nothing. Let's get. Let's get out of here. Let's go check what's up there. All right, here we go. Here goes nothing. Let's see what's in this. Uh-oh. Oh. It's a raccoon. I guess a raccoon lives up here. Bye. was a raccoon hiding. Oh. Not just junk, there's something there. Ooh, that was creepy. <laughs> I think so. Fireplace. Ho ho ho, you think he they locked us locked them in there? Ho ho. Oh, no 
Don't tell me they cook kids. What's in there now? Hello? Housekeeping! Whoa! Ouch. Hopefully they don't turn the fireplace or stove on. Where am I? Where am I? Where's my... Where's my bunny? A secret basement in this house. Totally gonna add value to the house when we try to sell it. You're like an orphan? are these people you live with? That's not your parents. Oh. No one can leave while the keeper still needs them. Oh. Not ready for that. from the Keeper's ever-vigilant gaze. The flower fills their hearts with love, and the love stands in the way of the pain. And the Keeper no longer has use for it. Never have their own soul flower. I can't have my own soul flower. That's why. That's why I stole it, huh? There is no escape for them. For black are their souls. Even if you steal a flower, it'll never be yours. True. Oh boy. Such things should never happen.
That was cool. Out of here. No way, don't carry that teapot. Get a bottle or something. Uh oh. Who is this guy? Wow. 
Oh. Something happened in here. I <laughs> have rotary phones. <laughs> Love it. One thing about this game that really is surprising to me is that this little subtleties of the story and how all three of these characters are connected is just amazing. Music is great. The puzzles are very lightweight, so you don't have to worry too much about getting frustrated. So good. He never was a knight, you know. One way or another, we all serve the Keeper. And we all have our desires. Most importantly, his heart was not all black. He had grown his own sunflower. He did not manage to save it, though. And that was his undoing. And she... Well... She never forgave him. But yes, he did steal that second flower. There 
is something you do not know, though. You were too young then, and no one told you. Everyone was so busy, so preoccupied with their own pain. He stole the flower from death. Stole you away. accepted you with all his heart. She couldn't, though. She blamed him. She blamed you. Some have to face more pain than they can handle. Wow. And the pain broke her. She wanted them to leave together. To follow their flower. And that night, they did leave. She took him with her. She took my son. Oh. stays with us forever.
It can subside. It may grow dull, but it'll never leave us. And we live with it, doing our best not to let it dissolve us. Wow. We fight it every day. But there are different kinds of pain. They're sacrificing yourself. The father consumed by work, trying to give his child a better future. The mother dedicating herself to her family until there is nothing left of her. Your pain is the price you pay to make someone else feel better, to make someone else smile, if only for a moment. But trading someone else's happiness for your pain is not the only way. Life doesn't want your pain. It doesn't need your suffering. It simply is what it is. Damn. You don't have to fight it. Very true. All we can do is remember those who are gone and do our best for those who remain. All of us carry our pain within us. Another way, even if you're in pain, another way is to take someone else's pain and make it your own. It's a tale about love. I will tell you. Tell you once again. <laughs> wow, that was good. It's definitely a good game. Definitely worth the time. I think the length is perfect. Definitely heart-wrenching. Definitely talks about loss, suffering, hope, and for sure love. I, wow, definitely very, very few games have that emotional like punch in the gut, uh, but this is definitely a great game. Uh, wow, yeah, that was uh, well worth the playthrough. Uh, everything from the graphics, the colors, the music, the characters, uh, this all worked. Like this is definitely going to be added to one of my top, top ten for sure. Um, just with the shortness of the game, what, probably like three, four, four hours I think I've played? I mean, you're very immersed with the story. Um, and it's definitely, the length is just perfect. Um, I definitely will probably try to play through this again to see what else I can unlock. Um, I guess by collecting some of that, the sparks that you see throughout the game, you could definitely find some other, other tidbits to the story that kind of add to it, so... I'll probably go through that again, um, but yeah, for the first playthrough, this was just, yeah, just amazing. I don't even know how else to say it. Like, this is just awesome. Um, yeah, you could definitely relate to a lot of this stuff. That was so cool. Well, I'm going to take a short break. I will definitely be back. Um, definitely be back a little bit later. Uh, but for now, just wanted to wrap up this game. But uh, definitely, uh, if you have not tried this game out, I would definitely give it. You know, five whiskey glasses for sure out of five. Um, definitely a great game. So I'll be back on a little a little bit later. Um, so uh, chat soon.